Hello everyone, this is the third part of the types of pressure. In this video, you will learn about hydro test pressure as per UG99. First, we will see what is hydro test pressure. The hydro test pressure is an opportunity to check the leak tightness of mechanical joints such as flange joints, threaded connection, and fittings in instrument tubing. It is the actual pressure the vessel is tested at. As per ASME requirement, the hydro test pressure is 1.3 times the design pressure. We will discuss it in detail further in the video. Let us take on example regarding this. If the design pressure is 100 kPa, then the hydro test pressure is 130 kPa. Therefore, the rule is called the 10 by 13th rule. It is 130% more than the design pressure. It is the maximum pressure that a vessel undergoes throughout its lifetime. You can see the process diagram for the hydro test pressure. Further, ASME Section 8, Division 1 sets out the general requirements for the inspection and testing of pressure vessels. One of the requirements is that either a hydrostatic test or pneumatic test must be performed, and the vessel must be inspected during the test. The test is done after all fabrication has been completed and all examinations have been performed. For most pressure vessels, a hydrostatic test in accordance with UG99 is done with water. For pressure vessels that cannot be safely filled with water, or where even traces of the testing liquid cannot be tolerated, a pneumatic test may be done in accordance with UG100. Now, let's see the procedure for the hydrostatic pressure. Firstly, the pressure vessels designed for internal pressure, shall be subjected to the hydrostatic test pressure that at every point in the vessel, is at least equal to 1.3 times the maximum allowable working pressure multiplied by the lowest stress ratio. This is for the material, vessel is made of. The first formula we use the most because sometimes the design pressure is equal to, the maximum allowable working pressure. We will see what is LSR in the next slide. The second formula is according to ASME, and API, which is the pressure vessel inspection code. The third one is according to PTS, which is Petronas Technical Standards, where MAP is maximum allowable pressure. Now, UG99, and Notes 36 tells that the maximum allowable working pressure is assumed to be the same as the design pressure when calculations are not made to determine the maximum allowable working pressure. The hydrostatic test pressure reading is adjusted to account for any static head conditions depending on the difference in elevation between the chamber being tested and the pressure gauge. Now, let's see the hydro test pressure calculation at site and shop corroded condition. The formula is pH equals 2, 1.3 times the maximum allowable working pressure into lowest stress ratio. If the end client or the equipment owner does not specify the maximum allowable working pressure as the design criteria, then we may select the UG99B and note 36. Now, the lowest stress ratio is the ratio of material stress at its operating test temperature to the material stress at its design temperature. Also, this stress ratio of pressure components such as shell, dish ends, nozzles, their flanges, and to be precise also the nozzle bolting. And the visual inspection shall be made at a pressure, not less than the test pressure, divided by 1.3. Let's learn some facts and practices regarding hydro test pressure. Though the pressure vessels are designed for high temperature applications, but they will be hydro tested at room temperature. Since, the induced stress in pressure vessels due to hydrostatic test is a function of temperature. A conversion factor called LSR is used to convert the allowable stress value at test temperature, to the stress value at the design temperature. For example, if the pressure vessel is designed to handle the fluid at room temperature, then LSR is equal to 1. Note that the test pressure will be higher than the maximum allowable working pressure. Now, you will see the graph of pressure versus time where we will see two kinds of pressure, first one is inspection pressure, and, the second one is test pressure. About the test pressure holding time. ASME does not specify anything about the test pressure holding time. As a practice, 30 to 60 minutes is followed. You can see the formulas for test pressure, and inspection pressure. We will use these formulas in one example to find the hydro test, and inspection pressure with given data. In this example, we have data given in which, the material used for the vessel is stainless steel of 316 grade, with lower carbon version. Sometimes it can be referred to as, A4 stainless steel, or marine grade steel. 
We have a design temperature, equal to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and a design pressure of 3,000 pounds per square inch gauge. The maximum allowable stress of marine grade steel, is equal to 20,000 pounds per square inch gauge, at an operating test pressure of, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And it will change to, 19,300 pounds per square inch gauge at the design temperature of, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Put values at its suitable place and, calculate the hydro test pressure. We will get the hydro test pressure, equal to 4,041.450 pounds per square inch. Now, put this value in the inspection pressure formula. You will get the inspection pressure, equal to 3,108.807 pounds per square inch. After this calculations, you will see, the processes of hydrostatic testing. In the first stage, we usually raise the pressure, up to 40% of the final pressure. Now we will stop pressurizing, and keep it for 5 minutes. And then make a fast visual inspection of the external surface. In the second stage, we will restart the pressurizing, up to 70% of the final pressure. Then stop the operation, we will keep it as it is for 5 minutes, and once again we will make a fast visual inspection of the external surface. In the third stage, we will restart the pressurizing, up to 100% of the final pressure. Then we will stop the operation. And then keep it for 45 minutes. At last, we will see some activities performed before hydro testing. Activities followed are, first of all, we will check all the welding, that has already been finished, and fully accepted by the, non-destructive examination as per the project inspection, and test plan. Secondly, we will make sure, and inspect the inner part of the vessel is clean, and free of any remaining slag, and that the external surface is dry for the correct execution of the visual inspection, during the vessel pressure testing. Now, we will check the pressure gauges calibration tag, certificate, and the range of the lower limit, and upper limit of the gauges. It needs to be between, 1.5 and 4. It is necessary to control the test equipment such as the test pump, and, housing for soundness and tightness. We will make sure that the test temperature will not violate the following values. Minimum test temperature is equal to, minimum design metal temperature plus, 30 degrees Fahrenheit, and maximum test temperature equal to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Here, MDMT is the minimum design metal temperature. It is stated in the pressure vessel design document, that it reduces the risk of a brittle fracture, during the test. We also, make sure which reinforcement pads are already soap tested. If in case the vessel material is sensitive, we must use corrosion inhibitors, to control the quality of water. Last of all, the placement of vents is important. It is required to be placed at high points of the vessel, in a position where it is possible to purge air pockets, while the vessel is filling. That is all about hydro test pressure. Thanks for watching. Until then learn and grow.